हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू द मैथ्स क्लास दिस इज नवदीप अग्रवाल हियर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन चैप्टर नंबर फोर एक्सपेंशंस चैप्टर नंबर वन टू थ्री आई विल एक्सप्लेन इन अदर वीडियोस फर्स्ट आई एम टेकिंग दिस फोर्थ चैप्टर एक्सपेंशंस इट विल बी इजी फॉर यू सो दैट्स वाई आई एम टेकिंग दिस चैप्टर सो फर्स्ट यू अंडरस्टैंड दिस चैप्टर इज नॉट न्यू इन दिस चैप्टर सम आइडेंटिटीज यू आर गोइंग टू स्टडी these identities you have studied in class 8th also so one time you see first identity a plus b whole square a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square a plus b whole square means there will be two sum of two terms and its square you have to find so first term square plus 2 into first term into second term plus second term square so like this you can expand the identity In the same way, second identity is coming a minus b whole square a square minus two ab plus b square. If minus sign is there, then this two ab term two multiplied by first term multiplied by second term that will be negative. Otherwise, both the term both square terms will be positive terms as in previous identity a square minus two ab plus b square. Now third identity it is not new identity it is based on first and second identity. If you add first and second identity, then you will get this third identity: a plus b whole square plus a minus b whole square equals two into a square plus b square. Means LHS of first and second identities you have to add, then LHS of third identity you will get. When you add RHS of first and second identity, then you will get RHS of third identity. Then fourth identity. A plus b whole square minus a minus b whole square equals four ab. Same in the same way, first and second identity you subtract means second identity you subtract from first identity. So LHS you will get. Then RHS of second identity you subtract from first identity. Then RHS of fourth identity you will get. Now fifth one, fifth one is. A plus one upon a whole square equals a square plus one upon a square plus two. Now how it is coming? You know, just before I told you, a plus b whole square same in place of b only one upon a is given. Means second term they are changing. First term is a plus second term is one upon a. So according to second term we will write a square first term square plus b square second term square means one upon a whole square one upon a square will come plus two into first term a into second term one upon a. A will cancel, so it will remain only two. So like this, you can get a square plus one upon a square plus two. This identity can also be written as like this: a square plus one upon a square equals a plus one upon a whole square minus two. In the same way, sixth identity: a minus one upon a whole square equals a square plus one upon a square minus two. Uh, just before I told you, a minus b whole square in place of b one upon a is there. So in place of b one upon a by taking in place of b one upon a you will get a plus a square plus one upon a square minus two. Now seventh one. If you add fifth and sixth identity, then you will get the seventh one. A plus one upon a whole square plus a minus one upon a whole square equals two into a square plus one upon a square. In the same way eighth one. A plus one upon a whole square minus a minus one upon a whole square equals four. When you subtract. Sixth identity from fifth identity, then you will get this eighth identity. So based on these identities, questions are given in exercise fourth A. You have to do all the questions of exercise fourth A, but before that you have to learn these identities. Otherwise, it will be difficult to solve the questions. Now some examples I am going to take so that you can understand how to solve the questions. So first example is coming a plus two b whole square. And second part is two a minus three b whole square. Here you can see in the question plus sign is given. Here minus sign is given. Whole square is given. So you can, with the help of two identities, first a plus b whole square and second a minus b whole square, you can expand. You can evaluate these two. So with the help of first identity a plus b whole square, first term square means a a whole square plus two into first term into second term. Here first term is a, second term is two b, so I have taken a and two b, plus second term square means two b whole square. 
सो बाय सिंप्लीफाइंग यू विल गेट ए स्क्वायर प्लस फोर ए बी प्लस फोर बी स्क्वायर इन द सेम वे सेकेंड पार्ट टू ए माइनस थ्री बी होल स्क्वायर फर्स्ट टर्म होल स्क्वायर माइनस टू इन टू फर्स्ट टर्म इन टू सेकेंड टर्म प्लस सेकेंड टर्म होल स्क्वायर ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर यू हैव टू कीप इन द माइंड वट एवर फर्स्ट टर्म इज गिवन दैट दैट्स स्क्वायर यू विल टेक वट एवर सेकेंड टर्म इज गिवन दैट्स स्क्वायर यू हैव टू टेक सो आफ्टर सिंप्लीफाइंग यू विल गेट फोर ए स्क्वायर माइनस ट्वेल्व ए बी प्लस नाइन बी स्क्वायर नेक्स्ट एग्जाम्पल इज कमिंग ए प्लस बी इक्वल्स नाइन ए बी इक्वल्स माइनस ट्वेंटी टू दीज टू थिंग्स आर गिवन ए प्लस बी इक्वल्स नाइन एंड ए बी इक्वल्स माइनस टू यू हैव टू फाइंड ए माइनस बी एंड ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर सो जस्ट बिफोर आई टोल्ड यू देर आर टू मैथड्स दिस इज ऑल्सो गिवन सेकेंड मैथड बट फर्स्ट मैथड आई विल टेक सेकेंड मैथड यू कैन सी योर सेल्फ सेकेंड मैथड यू हैव टू फाइंड ए माइनस बी यू आर हैविंग दिस आइडेंटिटी जस्ट बिफोर आई टोल्ड यू ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर माइनस ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स फोर ए बी विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस आइडेंटिटी यू कैन फाइंड ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर इक्वल्स ए प्लस बी होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर ए बी ए प्लस बी वैल्यू यू आर हैविंग नाइन सो नाइन होल स्क्वायर माइनस फोर इंटू ए बी वैल्यू माइनस ट्वेंटी टू यू आर हैविंग इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन नॉन नाइन नाइन जा एटी वन स्क्वायर ऑफ नाइन इज एटी वन माइनस माइनस प्लस ट्वेंटी टू फोर जा एटी एट आंसर इज कमिंग वन सिक्सटी नाइन सो लाइक दिस यू कैन फाइंड यू हैव फाउंड फर्स्ट पार्ट ए माइनस बी नाउ यू हैव टू फाइंड सेकेंड पार्ट सॉरी ए माइनस बी होल स्क्वायर वॉज कमिंग वन सिक्सटी नाइन ए माइनस बी यू विल टेक स्क्वायर रूट सो प्लस माइनस अंडर रूट वन सिक्सटी नाइन प्लस माइनस थर्टीन नाउ सेकेंड पार्ट इज ए स्क्वायर माइनस बी स्क्वायर इन सेकेंड पार्ट यू कैन सी दिस आइडेंटिटी ऑल्सो यू हैव स्टडीड इन क्लास एट ए प्लस बी एंड ए माइनस बी If uh, the difference of two square terms is given, then sum of these two terms multiplied by uh, difference of these two terms you can take. So a plus b into a minus b. A plus b value nine is given already, and a minus b value plus minus thirteen you have found. You multiply thirteen nine is a one hundred seventeen plus minus sign will be same. So like this you can solve this second example or such type of questions you will get in exercise. Now third example is coming. In third example, you can see if x is not equal to zero and x plus one upon x equals to x square plus one upon x square, you have to find. And in second part, you have to find x to the power four plus one upon x to the power four. How can you find these two parts? First part, the uh, there are two methods, but this first method you take. Sorry, second method you take here. It will be easy for you. This method you take. x plus one upon x you are having two it is given squaring both the sides so x plus one upon x whole square equals two square it will become now a plus one upon a whole square just before I told you a square plus one upon a square plus two so in the same way x plus one upon x whole square will become x square plus one upon x square plus two into x into one upon x x will cancel directly you can write plus two no matter Now this plus two and here two two is a four in RHS it will come. Now this two you can take in RHS so four minus two equals two answer will be two so like this you can solve. Now second part is coming in second part you can see now x to the power four plus one upon x to the power four you have to find. So squaring both the sides x square plus one upon x square you have found. Two, so here you can square of first part. So first part square when you make so x to the power four plus one upon x to the power four plus two equals four. It will come. Square of x square is x to the power four. Square of one upon x square is one upon x to the power four plus two according to identity it comes plus two you take in RHS then you get x to the power four plus one upon x to the power four equals two. Next example is coming. This example fourth, given a square plus one upon a square equals seven is not equal to zero. Why they are giving a is not equal to zero? If you put a equals zero in this question, so one upon zero will come, and by zero division is not possible. So that's why a cannot be zero. They are giving. With the help of this, you have to find a plus one upon a, a minus one upon a, a square minus one upon a square. First part one by one. You see, it is very easy question. 
a plus one upon a you have to find so a plus one upon a whole square you find first a plus one upon a whole square will be a square plus one upon a square plus two just before i told you now a square plus one upon a square value you are having that is seven you can put here seven then plus two this plus two is here seven plus two nine now a plus one upon a whole square equals nine so a plus one upon a will be plus minus under root nine when you take square root then you take plus minus sign with the square root so answer is coming plus minus three in the same way second part a minus one upon a whole square equals a square plus one upon a square minus two this is also the identity here also you can put the value a square plus one upon a square seven minus two five now a minus one upon a whole square equals five so a minus one upon a will be under root plus minus five third part a square minus one upon a square equals a plus one upon a into a minus one upon a this identity just before i told you a square minus b square equals a plus b into a minus b now a plus one upon a you have found in first part plus minus three a minus one upon a you have found in second part plus minus under root five when you multiply then three multiplied by root five three root five plus minus sign will be same as it is next example is coming if a square minus 5 a plus 1 equals 0 a is not equal to 0 then find a plus 1 upon a a square plus 1 upon a square in this question you can see this equation is given a square minus 5 a plus 1 equals 0 if you divide this equation by a then what will you get both the sides you have to divide a is not equal to 0 so uh, when a is not 0 then you can divide by a so when you divide then a square upon a minus 5a upon a plus 1 upon a in lhs it will be there in rhs when you divide 0 by a a is not 0 so 0 can be divided by any other any number except 0 so when you divide 0 by a then it will become 0 division will be 0 then here 1 a will cancel here this a will cancel so it will become a minus 5 plus 1 upon a equal 0 so minus 5 you shift in rhs then it will come a plus 1 upon a equals 5 this is the first part which you had to find now second part is coming a square plus 1 upon a square now first part you have found a plus 1 upon a equals 5 so you can make a square both the sides when you make a square or like this you can find when you make a square then it will come a plus 1 upon a whole square equals 5 square and then expanding it then a square plus 1 upon a square plus 2 equals 25 now this 2 you shift in rhs then it will come 23 so this method you can apply or which i am telling you this method you can apply so students these were the examples based on the identities which i explained in this video i hope you have understood all the examples and uh, all the identities but you have to learn these identities if you want to solve the questions of uh, exercise fourth a so in this video i will i am explaining only this much in next video in fourth fourth b exercise i will explain so thank you have a nice day